Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, everybody gets a chance at packing a promo card on FC24. And how is that, you might ask? Well, it's because of an SBC that I think we're going to be getting today. We're going to talk about that, how to prepare for that SBC, and what in the world is going on with the Player of the Month, Mbappe. We thought we were going to hear some news about it yesterday, but we are going to hear some news today. And we have to cover that and all that's going on after a kind of good day of content yesterday on Monday. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content, of course, because we got a lot more than expected. And it wasn't just one, but two player SBCs. The most exciting of the two is one of the better French left backs in the game, Selma Bacha. We knew this was an SBC that was upcoming, and it finally dropped. Four skills, three weak foot, high, high work rates, whipped pass, playstyle plus. Nice play styles inside of the card for defending, even for dribbling, and quick step and relentless. This is a card that I think a lot of people are actually using, guys. One thing that I didn't know right away, I knew there was hype for Bacha in the beginning of the game for her gold card. Bacha is one of the most used left backs in the game. I mean, behind Cancelo, Lamptey, Davies, Teo, and Furland, but ahead of players like Andrew Robertson, the inform Grimaldo is just behind. Uh, Nuno Menge is even less games played, has less games played than Bacha does on this game, her gold card at least, that's pretty crazy. And uh, that's why there's a lot of hype for this card because she is actually good in game. She is, of course, French, so the links are okay. They're not the best. You have Lyon players like Diani that could be very good with this, Lacazette, nice links there as well. And the price for 170,000 coins for this card that is live and upgrading also, have to mention that, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it is not bad. Bad. Now, I will say this. If you have a Diani, if you have Gioro or any of those French links in your team, this could be an SBC that you go after uh, because, again, it is a live card. There are upgrades probably coming for this card. Lyon is one of the better women's teams in the world from what I hear, and they start their games today. They have their first UWCL match today. If they win their first two, that would get an upgrade for this card to an 89 at, I think, two weeks' time frame. And if they were to qualify for the UWCL knockout rounds, that would not happen until the end of December. So your upgrades are going to be spaced out. Now, the only thing is, you also see that third, qualified to group stage as a plus one in form upgrade. I mean, guys, I think that upgrade's already placed on this card because right now, what the game they're playing in today is, is the group stages. So I think that Bacha having an 86 rated base gold going to an 88, I think EA has technically given her that plus one already and then drop the SBC. That's how I see it, because technically they have already surpassed that threshold for upgrades. So I, th I think it's decent. I think it's a nice card. I did play against her card yesterday in game, and it was a little bit on the weaker side. But if you need a more attacking style left back, not at all bad defending by any means, but a little bit more attacking style, that Bacha is a solid SBC to craft. We also had Cuthbert yesterday from Chelsea. Again, same scenario with the upgrades. They're already qualified for the group stages. And if they win two, she gets a plus one. If they win uh, out into the knockout stage, of course, she gets another plus one in form upgrade as well. This one's really cheap. I mean, Footbin has it at 33,000 coins, but it just doesn't have quite as much height because Bacha is a very overpowered player in the game. Cuthbert, maybe not so much, but nice Chelsea links for 30 K one squad easy to do. I like that it's cheap. Now other upgrade packs that we had yesterday, we got a brand new upgrade. Everything is in threes, right? And you know what? EA keep it this way because these packs that we're getting the SBCs, the players, like everything in sets of threes is kind of nice. The 77 plus upgrade requires less cards and is technically a better pack than the Centurions crafting upgrade because it has that 77 plus rating attached to it. And it's only nine cards instead of 11. So I'm a fan of that one, but I'm really a fan of the gamble pack, right? The upgrade, the 84 plus times you guessed it three. And if you did this yesterday, I know that there's an 86 rated requirement inside of this as a part of the SBC to turn in. You have to put in one 86 rated player and then an 83 rated squad. The 86 is the toughest part because that's kind of higher rated, right? But when you throw that in there, I think all you have to do is turn in an 86 and then an 84, and then the rest of the squad can be 82s, which are really, really easy to get. Or you can do a couple of 83s and 82s as well. So it's only 22,000 coins. And honestly, if, as long as you're packing in the two times that you can do this per day, it's going to refresh again today. So we're going to talk about how it could move things as well in the market based off how they moved yesterday. But as long as you're hitting a walkout, like an 87 rated, technically you need to hit an 87, right? Because 87s are 17,000 coins. This SBC is 22K. So for the 84s, you're getting plus maybe an 87. 
that's not bad. It's It could be worse, right? So this is a decent gamble, SBC. Plenty of double walkouts were coming out of this yesterday, and it is a, a one to try out if you can craft it through the upgrades or the 77 pluses for sure. It's a decent one. Now, because of that SBC dropping, we did see some fodder movements that happened yesterday. Guys, I will say once again, 86s did have a bit of a rise. We didn't talk explicitly about investing in those, but those cards are definitely up. I'm looking at 86s right now. Uh, like, it's crazy that I'm looking at Kavarit Skelia as an 86 rated fodder card still, but he has 13 and a half thousand coins. A lot of 86s are 13 and a half K. I think they're going to go higher today because, I mean, that SBC requires an 86. I could see these going a thousand or maybe even 2,000, probably like 15 K today for some of the 86s, is where if you have those, I'd be listing those. And then 83s. They didn't go up a lot yesterday, but they went up a couple hundred coins. They were around 15 to 1600. I think that's kind of where they're chilling right now, 14 to 15. So it was the 83s and the 86s that moved the most. But I will say, even maybe showing you guys my transfer list here in a second, I was copping lazy sales on plenty of 83s and 82s as well. Like I saw, I sold Ericsson at 2400, Gwyn at 27, and then a bunch of these 82s at 11 to 1200 coins because, again, people are buying these to do that SBC. So, W from EA yesterday with that upgrade pack content. Also, a surprise away from marquee matchups for the women's side of things. I'm never going to complain about tradable packs that are easy and cheap to get. So, that is a W as well. That was all of our content yesterday on this game. No new evolutions going on there, but we did have the EA tweet. And this is where we got to have a little bit more of a conversation because we had this tweet yesterday from EA. And the first thing we talked about in yesterday's video, the first thing we looked for was an Mbappe player of the month, but we didn't have it in here, but we're getting news about that today. And I want to talk about that a little bit. First of all, notice in here, we do have a couple leaks to kind of coincide with this from EA. Notice the plural nature of this wording, right? UWCL, RTTK, SBC, players. How many SBCs did we have yesterday? Los dos. NWSL, end of an era SBCs. How many of these are we expecting? At least two, because that is a plural nature. And once again, there is a leaked end of an era card. It is not a fan favorite, but it is Megan Rapino coming as an end of an era SBC soon. Technically, is that our first end of an era SBC of the year? I don't, I don't think so. I don't remember. I'm having trouble remembering. I remember last year we had end of an era Franck Ribéry and it was around this time, maybe a little bit earlier. We've had to have had an end of an era so far, or maybe it was just a leak or a concept that I saw, but Rapino is coming as an end of an era soon. And I think we're going to get another one of those as well. I don't know if it's going to be, well, it is going to be, it's going to be an NWSL player. So I do like that because if you're getting two players from the same league in a league that is not the most popular to link, but does have some other items out there to link together, like Sophia Smith, Alex Morgan, um, Rodman, right? Plenty of good players that you could link up with those couple cards coming. I, I like that they're doing that, dropping it in sets of twos. It'd be nice if you could do three EA, but we'll see if we get a set of two of those coming soon. Um, so watch out for that. That could be SBC content something coming soon. Objectives for squad foundations, once again, we're going to get another league of those. And also a moments SBC, which this might be the first moments SBC of the year. And it is going to be Sabitzer, according to Foot Sheriff. Sabitzer leaked is a moments SBC. Predicted stats. This card doesn't look that great. Probably needs a bit more of a pace boost. But I'm kind of excited for this because I did a Ben Sabini evolution. This card would be a nice link up straight to him with the Dortmund links. Bundesliga links as well. It's got to be cheap though. Always comes down to the price. Got to be a bit cheap. Speaking of Bundesliga, Harry Kane potentially winning the player of the month. Uh, this SBC would be coming out probably Wednesday, Thursday, I think, is usually when we see the Bundesliga player of the month. Also, themed team XP objectives. Might see those today. And then also they mentioned upgrade SBCs as always, but an icon player SBC. And there's no leak on the icon player SBC yet. But yesterday, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Eric Cantona was trending on Footbin for most of the day, like trending near the top number one. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the SBC that is upcoming. That'd be a that'd be a nice icon SBC. Now I will say, I've tried his card. I didn't like him, but it is a big name icon player. If he were to get an SBC, that would be something that would help the potential demand of some of that fodder that we invested in as well. Now, speaking of the market a little bit, as I said, look at my lazy sales. We have a lot of those. I have a lot of my fodder. I traded a Sophia Smith, traded a couple Kingsley Commands. I have a couple other cards that I'm still trying to trade, but guys, I still have my fodder. I have not sold it yet uh, or panicked or anything like that. I'm still lazy listing a lot of this stuff because you get 
sales. The more that you keep relisting every single hour, the better you can do that, the more sales you're going to get. And today is a day where I expect fodder to go higher on almost all accounts, especially if a couple things line up. I do want to point out one thing though. Yesterday, everybody was buying fodder, right? Getting prepared for a potential Mbappe player of the month and everything that is upcoming this week in terms of SBCs. And really the best buy yesterday wasn't in fodder for a Monday market rise of quick profit potential. It was these cards, Jack Grealish, 195,000 coins. These cards from this triple threat promo squad have a lot of hype evidently because he went up. Look at this graph yesterday, Grealish from 147 all the way to 202. He was a couple hours ago. Look at that 50,000 coins of a rise in literally one day. That is nuts. And on a day where we had supply after content as well with the UEFA MM, these cards were really not affected too much. Tiago, I think, went from like 70K. What was he? 78,000 coins all the way to 105,000 coins. Huge rises on like almost every single card in this promo team, besides Karchawi because of the Bacha, obviously, right? But um, like Morientes is up 50K. Govu, Cole, Car uh, Carvel Hall is up a lot. Cascarino is up a ton. Kim Pembe, even Connor Gallagher went from like 13,000 coins to 17K. Um, that's just something to kind of keep an eye on and notice. I think the reason why they went up so much is because there were lightning rounds on the weekend. Their prices got low. Of course, people got coins from Weekend League and wanted to go and try some of these cards out. And I think there's actually maybe more demand for these cards than regular promo cards because this is a team of promo players that don't often get promos like Tiago with five-star skills and a massive pace boost. Like, yeah, there's a lot of people with Premier League teams that would want to go and try this card out just to try it out. Or Carvajal for Madrid links with pace, Grealish with finesse shot plus. Um, there's, there's some cool cards in this promo team. And I think it's just different players apart from the normal promo players that we always expect to see and people want to go and try those. So I think that's why we saw those big market rises yesterday. So GG's, if you bought any of those, there were some big price rises. I think they'll fall off a little bit more towards the end of the week though. And maybe that's a time where we can think about investing in some of those. If we were to expect them to rise out of packs, which maybe doesn't happen because we're getting closer and closer to black Friday, but after all that yesterday, I don't think today's going to slow down at all, guys. Tuesday last week was a surprise day of content. I think Tuesday is going to be a surprise day of content this week as well. And I want to talk about one of the SBCs that we had last week that I think is going to come back in a different way and be even bigger and better today. Guys, I'm talking about a pack that gives out promo cards, right? Last week, we had the surprise 84 plus road to the knockouts player pack and it was a surprise because we saw the pack added to the code literally the day the SBC came out a couple hours before content and then we saw this pack and it was cheap and it was fun and everybody did it right because who doesn't want a chance at especially trying to pack a promo card from an older promo side and of course promo cards that are still live and upgrading in the current stage for most of them some of them have hit their max upgrades but there's a lot of hype with these cards right well there was another pack that was added at the same time and it gives out either a road to the knockouts player or a trailblazers rated 84 or higher this pack might be the one that comes today a rttk or trailblazers 84 plus and if you take a look at the trailblazers teams again you got kane you got son you got rafael leal sofia smith rabo cancelo cristiano freaking ronaldo in this promo team and it's 84 plus so you take out evander you take out vera you still got a lot of like lower level fodder in there. Tuma, Golovin, Martinez Cuarta, Danilo, Mares would even be considered fodder. If you go to Trailblazers team numero uno, you've got 84 rated cards like uh, Acosta, Herrero, Wagner that you're probably going to be packing. Grassi, who's 50,000 coins because of evolutions. So there's a lot of fodder that you could pack. But of course, you could get lucky and you could hit something massive. So this is a pack that a lot of people is are, are going to want to do today if it does drop. And I mean, if this is in the code and we got the first one last week, I mean, it, you would think that this one would come this week. At least the 84 plus RTTK could potentially come back since we had RTTK SBCs yesterday as well. It's very likely, in my opinion, that we get one, one of those SBCs today on this game. And because of that, I know we talked about 83s already going up a little bit, but I mean, they're not up that much. If you want to hop on bids for 83s, 
1.3k 1.2k on bid which i think you might be able to obtain today is probably a really good price 84 is even as well last week this is the day that 84s went to the moon like if we click on an 84 rated card and go to last week it was on oh yep tuesday after content drop where they went from four and a half thousand coins all the way to almost 6k i know they're not that high this week but i could easily see these being 4.5 4.7k after the content today if we get the 84 plus rttk or trailblazers pack out in the game it shouldn't be too much more than like 50 60 70 000 coins in my opinion because this is an spc with a very low floor like we looked at very low floor but also a pretty high ceiling and ea is going to want a lot of people to do that right it's almost this is kind of funny to think about if ea is actually giving us an spc to at least try and pack some of these trailblazers and road of the knockout cards now for the second week in a row it's almost like they're saying hey you know we know that you guys can't pack any of these from actual packs because we make the pack weight way too low so how about we just drop you an sbc so you can spend some more of your fodder in your club to then maybe pack one of those good cards that you wish you could have packed it's almost like that's what they're trying to do here by dropping these packs which we call party bag sbcs right into the code so i'm really expectant of one of those sbcs coming out today and yeah they're fun to do and they're going to be pretty easy to craft with all the objective packs that are still in the store i mean guys every single day if you go play three games in uh whatever game mode you want to play in with the lone ledley king that you can get via objectives that's an 81 double and an 80 double which you're probably going to get one or two 83s from those sbc pack or those packs like that's that's nice so ggs to ea for at least supplying a little bit of fodder just enough to make us tempted to do an sbc to have to go buy a little bit more uh, on the market so i do expect 83s 84s 85s and maybe informs to be rising today i want to shout out informs i haven't talked about them a ton in the last couple of videos and i should have because they've been having some crazy movements informs right now are right around 20 middle twenty thousand coin range if we get an inform requirement in that SBC today, these will go up. If you're going to try to invest and make a bit of a riskier move on these, I would say try to buy the higher rated informs if they're around the same price with 25K. Some of like 85 rated ones. The 85 rated card that comes to mind right now is um, San, Sunset, I think, is a card that a lot of people have looked at for an 85 rated inform. And yeah, you can see that all informs are about 24, 25K, and he's right here at about 25K as well. So a little bit of a risky play because that is inflated, but informs could go back to 30K if we get an inform requirement in that SBC today. If we don't get an inform requirement, those will probably drop. Also, for the meta market, of course, people will be packing Trailblazers and they'll be packing those RTTK cards again. Cards that I would watch out for today that are probably going to be good moves on the market. Remember last week when the RTTK 84 plus dropped Griezmann or sorry, not Griezmann. That's what we're looking at right now. Griezmann's 600,000 coins. But last week, Modric RTTK dropped like 30 or 40,000 coins, like in a hurry because people saw the 84 plus RTTK. They panic sold their card and a very few people are actually packing like the really expensive cards, right? We all know how these SBCs work. We're going to be seeing a lot of Mkhitaryan, Di Lorenzo, Carolyn Nicoli. We're not going to see as many Jude, Salah, Mbappe, Griezmann, Hansen, stuff like that, right? So if you see sizable drops, I'm talking drops of like 15 per 10 to 15 percent, probably more around 10 percent um, in, in price. And you can tell the percentages, by the way, if you look at the card, you can look on the top. It'll kind of calculate a trend. But usually you want to double check the graph and see like Rabo was 220 yesterday after Bacha. He went down to 198. He might go down to like 180 today. If this card would go to, to 180, he's the best left back in the Premier League in this game. He's out of packs, Liverpool links. That's a card, yeah, I'd be pretty interested in, right? So that's the type of thing you can watch out for today. The cards that are not going to get packed as much, the higher priced ones, the more expensive ones, you guys know which ones are harder to pack, right? Keep an eye on those because there might be a drop in that first. Honestly, it's not going to be long, guys. Like 15 to 20 minutes, that's might be, that might be where the drop is. And then you might see a potential rebound after that for a bit of a trading opportunity. Now, let's talk about Mbappe Player of the Month really quickly towards the end of this video. First of all, the voting is over, okay? And the reason I think we didn't see EA tweet about it yesterday is because I don't think the SBC is actually going to be this week. Even the voting... And since the voting ended yesterday, I don't think it's going to be uh, an SBC that drops this week. It wasn't as a part of that tweet. But today, 
the big news is we are going to find out who wins. It's going to be one hour before the content drop today on the 14th of November. Check and keep a close eye on at UNFP on Twitter. That is the official um, body, the governing body. The UNFP tweets out all these awards. Um, they are the ones who will tweet out the official award right away. There could be a leak or two beforehand, but usually for League One Play of the Month, I'm pretty sure is not leaked before they post it. So watch their webpage an hour before the content drop. We will find out who wins. They're going to announce it then, but the SBC will probably be available, guys, next week. And the reason why it's going to be available next week most likely is because we still have a SBC right now for uh, Bulka, who was player of the month the last month, and he's still got 10 days left on the card. So I think that's kind of the reason why EA are doing that. They're also going to drop the player of the month Bundesliga this week. And then they, they seem to like to spread out the player of the months, except for uh, Premier League and La Liga. They like, or sorry, Premier League and Serie A. They like dropping those in almost the same day. But I think we're going to see news on that today, but not an actual SBC. Now, I want to say this. Like I said, I'm still invested. I know a lot of you guys are still invested as well. If it is leaked or if it is posted, I guess it'd be official, not even a leak. If Mbappe wins this SBC award, if he wins player of the month, which he is expected to, but crazy things have happened with this stuff. If he's announced winner, in my opinion, SBC fodder will start to rise because you'll see people that'll be like, okay, it's legit. Mbappe is getting an SBC. And that would be an SBC that honestly, guys, so many people would put as many coins as they could into and start to craft, like get their clubs ready ahead of time because that is such a massive SBC to have at this stage of the game. I think you would see 87 and above rated fodder rise up in price even though the SBC may be next week that's going to sit in people's minds and people would be willing to buy cards a week ahead of time so I think fodder could go up today if that happens if Mbappe does not win if Zaire, Zaire Emery pulls off the upset somehow then fodder is definitely going to drop it might not drop a ton because we still have an icon SBC come this week I want to remind you that there's still demand for high-rated fodder for SBCs like Jude Bellingham, for SBCs like the other icons that we have, for Mohamed Salah Player of the Month, right? Even the Forlan, there's still demand for that. But I do think fodder would drop if Mbappe does not win. So just watch out for that today. I'm still keeping all my fodder. I am chancing it. I think Mbappe is going to win, so I'm going to ride it out. And, and honestly, the worst case scenario is, let's say Mbappe does not win today. How low are like 88s going to go? They're probably, in my opinion, I don't think they go lower than like 22K. Like they're already 25,000 coins sitting and like they were 24K yesterday. They're still kind of creeping up in price. If Mbappe wins, those could go up another thousand, 2000 coins. And honestly, since the SBC wouldn't be until the weekend, I would honestly think about if there is a rise today. Maybe not selling them right away, depending on if we get the Icon SBC or not, but maybe selling by Wednesday because if we have the opportunity to double dip, who wouldn't rather sell their 88 rated cards that they bought for a little bit of profit and then be able to buy them at almost the same price that they bought them at last Sunday, this coming Sunday, after maybe or before an Icon SBC were to come out and then before Mbappe player of the month, like who wouldn't take a double dip scenario? So that's kind of the way that I'm looking at it. If you're wanting to sit on your fodder, 23K for 88s like we bought them at 23 and a half was fantastic. The high rated fodder should be OK. But if Mbappe is not announced winner, it could drop a little bit. So I wanted to kind of talk about that at length because that guys, that is a massive SBC in the news that is going to be hopefully coming out soon. Now, also today, uh, we are getting probably another player SBC. Like, let's be, let's be honest. We're getting, we're getting player SBCs very often. And especially with all of the leaks that we have that EA is talking about, the Leka SBC goes away today. I don't know which one would be today, whether it's squad foundations and moments, whether it is those end of an era players, I could see today being squad foundations and maybe the moments SBC alongside of like an upgrade pack. So I could think that that is a very possible thing that could happen, but hey, no, it could be the uh, end of an era cards as well. We'll have to see, but I'm expecting player SBCs as well today, as well as XP. I know a lot of us are getting towards the end of the grind. I'm on level 15, approaching level 16, just took on Yekka. I'm going to be taking a Wobi for the long ball pass playstyle plus because that is actually, I'm finding out, very helpful in game. Uh, so I'm going to be taking a will be here, but I'm on my way to level 20. I haven't been like trying at all to get all the XP that I possibly can. But uh, these team theme pursuits, which I should be doing more of them, uh, we might be getting another one of these today, potentially, or maybe tomorrow. But uh, yeah, these are really good for XP. I should probably do that one. I should probably do that one. Uh, because how much XP do you get from this? 
500 XP. That's solid. So, you know, maybe another objective for XP. That was one of the things that EA, of course, talked about on their This Week in Ultimate Team post today as well. And guys, for the rest of the market, I mean, again, think about it. We are we are closing down on like one week until Black Friday. I would be very careful buying cards for teams right now because prices are going to go lower. I think predominantly a lot of those price drops are going to happen this weekend, but they could happen a little bit during the week as well. I mean, think about it. If people are going and buying fodder today, if there's an Mbappe player of the month that is leaked, they're going to be selling some cards to go buy fodder, right? So I'm very careful on the market right now, being careful with flips, buying mostly fodder, because that is definitely the best place to be trading on this game. And that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate's Foot Account. and catch you guys in a video later today. Double upload today. Be on the lookout for it. Peace.